Welcome to our 5 on 5. Pleased to be joined today by Major Jason Coney with the Salvation Army of Jackson County. Good to see you, sir. Oh, thank Thanks you for, for having me. Thanks for coming in. Uh, I don't know if it's too soon to say happy holidays, but the holiday season for you at Salvation Army starts much sooner than this. That is true. Started a couple months ago getting pre prepared for it. <laughs> Busy time of year, indeed. So Monday, you guys have some signups that are beginning at your admin office here in Medford. What, what are these signups for? Yeah, this is our Christmas assistance. So what that means is that we will be um, registering all those families and individuals, whether it be for Christmas toys um, and a food gift card, um, or if we have individuals that just need that food gift card. They'll be able to come to our 304 Beatty Street address um, pretty well Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week between 9 to 12 and then in the afternoon will be between 1 to 4 30 um, and that's the opportunity where they can sign up for this assistance. They, there is certain documentation they need to bring for this um, so they can check out our Salvation Army Jackson County Facebook page. They can contact our office to get the details of what they need to have um, and then from that they will be ready Register to receive closer to Christmas time, Christmas toys, food gift card, all items that we have available from the community providing that as donations. Okay, and so in Forgive me, as you referenced the Facebook page, so it is proof of income, for lack of a better phrase, because not everybody qualifies for this kind of assistance. Yeah, we're looking at proof of income, proof of just residency of living here in Jackson County. Mm -hmm. um, so in any resident of Jackson County um, is eligible if they meet with the income guidelines. They also, if they're signing up their children, we need to see birth certificates or other kind of just documentation showing that they live here, they live in this county, um, because each Salvation Army serves their service area, and so for the Salvation Army here, we're serving those that live in Jackson County. Sure, okay, that makes a lot of sense. What about the, I know you guys do uh, angel tree tags, am, am I saying that right? What, what is that? Yeah, so what we do, so next week, as families come in, and we usually help about 450 families, it's about 2,500 children that we'll be assisting. And so we take the information of the children, um, and we'll put their, you know, just their first we do keep their last names confidential sure. there, but we'll take their um, size of clothing, suggested type of gift, put that under those angel tags, and then we put those angel tags out in different stores, different businesses, even churches. Um, and so we're still looking for other groups, other businesses that can help us to put those tags out there because through that, donors can take that tag, buy the item, whether they see the item there that they want to get or they see something else they want to provide. Then that comes back to us, and then we're working with volunteers throughout the Christmas season to get all those items ready. And then on our distribution day on December 20th, we will then be giving out all of those items and we did pretty well in one day. We have 20 families come every 15 minutes to grab their, the Christmas toys, mm -hmm. get their food gift card, and then that way they'll be ready for Christmas Day. Wow, okay, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We also need to talk about bell ringers, a huge thing that of course the Salvation Army does. First, we'll take this break. Stay with us. Welcome back to our 5 on 5. Again, we're here with Major Jason Koenig with the Salvation Army of Jackson County. So we're talking all about that Christmas prep stuff. Bell ringers, they're coming out pretty soon. Uh, you guys are still looking to, to get volunteers for this. Oh, definitely. I mean, we have, just in Jackson County, 32 locations that we could cover every day. We do bell ringing from Monday through Saturday. We start on November 22nd, go all the way to Christmas Eve. And we are in need of having people out there pretty well from that 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. time frame six days a week. We're looking for volunteers, we're looking for individuals, groups, um, businesses to even compete. We're going to try to do a gold bell competition, mm -hmm. whatever we can to be able to reach our goal. Our goal this year is to raise $170,000 through that. Last year we raised about $164,000. This year, our challenge is that we have six less days to be out there bell ringing because Thanksgiving is a week later. Right. And we typically do not start um, for some of the stores till that Friday before Thanksgiving. And then a lot of the other stores allow us that day after Thanksgiving. Wow, okay, so does that mean, does that mean anything to the bottom line of, of what these volunteers are bringing in? Yeah, those six days that we lose equates to about thirty-five to $40,000 loss of what we're able to bring in. And that's even if we're able to fill all 
all of our locations, wow. even with the six state laws. And so as a result, we wind up even having to hire bell ringers. And even in doing that, every year we'll hire about 60 bell ringers. And yet we'll still have some days where we can only cover 14 of the 32 locations each day. Mm. Last year we had a week where we only had eight locations covered every day because we didn't have enough people to cover. And we experienced in that, that year was about a you know, $15,000 loss just from that low coverage. My goodness. Yeah, I had no idea it had such an impact. I mean, it, it is a shorter season. I am aware of that, but wow. All right, so if people want to sign up, uh, to be a bell ringer and, and to help out the organization and, and those less fortunate, what, what should they do? Yeah, so if they want to volunteer, they can just go online to ringoregon.org, um, click on Medford, and then it'll give you some locations and shift options. You can also come to our 304 Beatty Street address at our admin office um, and sign up there. If um, we're also looking for paid bell ringers, and so right now we are, do have that position open, you can come fill out an application for that also. Uh, we would love for it to be fully volunteer volunteer run. Unfortunately, we haven't seen enough volunteers come in over the years. I'd love for this year to be the year we could have them fully covered and then that's more funding that we're able to utilize for helping the community because you look at just with our um, first $20,000 that comes into these kettles goes towards the food gift cards we purchase for our Christmas assistance. Mm. Um, and then the money is also utilized for any shortage we might have in toys coming in. And then for the rest of the year, from what we do with our Hope House transitional program, what we do in utility assistance, um, rental assistance, you know, our, our food bank, all of those other programs from our youth programming all benefit from what comes in through the kettles. Wow. All right. Good to see you. Thanks so much. It was well, a busy thank time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Stay with us. We'll be right back.